all right welcome back to the next part of the series now we are going to learn about two adjectives that are always attached to the process of ra uh, radioactive decay so radioactive decay is a process that is referred to as being random and spontaneous so why does it have this random nature or what does it mean when we say that radioactive decay is random and spontaneous so let's first understand randomness let's suppose you have a let's suppose you have a radioactive material a rock of let's say uranium in your hand and what I'm drawing inside the rock is all the atoms or all the radioactive nuclei of uranium right these are all the atoms now these will all decay one by one eventually all of them will decay we know that but the important thing to understand here is let's suppose you find the rock in a situation where this nucleus has decayed or this nucleus has decayed and this one has decayed and this one has decayed now is there any way to tell which ones of the atom uh, atoms or the nuclei insert inside the sample will decay next what will decay next and when would it decay there is no way to tell it therefore we say that it's a random process in terms of time so radi radioactivity is randomness in time which means there is no way to predict when a particular nucleus will decay and also which one will decay next right now we also say that radioactivity is random in direction so what does that mean well if let's say alpha radiations are coming out of the nucleus one of the alpha particles gets emitted in this direction one of the alpha particles gets emitted in this direction one of the alpha particles gets emitted in this direction is there any way to predict where is the next alpha particle going to go there is no way to predict that we can't predict which alpha particle uh, in which direction is the alpha particle going to go so radio radioactivity is also random in direction there's no way to predict in which direction the radiation will be emitted so that's about randomness now let, what, let's also understand what does it mean to be spontaneous so to be spontaneous it basically just means that you cannot do anything to change the process of radioactive decay you can't speed it up you can't slow down the process you can't do anything to change anything about the process the process goes on on its own and it cannot be controlled by physical conditions such as temperature pressures or you can't even make any chemical changes to change the process the process will happen the way it wants to happen we can do nothing about it uh, and we can't change or stop or start the process so that is what it means for radioactivity sp to be spontaneous now that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next part